Marshalltown man wanted in a deadly weekend shooting is still on the run. And tonight, authorities released the name of the 20 year old victim. Marshalltown police identify him as Dedrick Fisher. He was shot around 11 o'clock Saturday night and died early Sunday morning. A warrant is out for 19 year old Jose Morales. Investigators believe the two men knew each other. Now, this shooting is just one incident in a recent string of violent, high profile crimes in Marshalltown. KCCI's Vanessa Pang is live to show us how residents are feeling after yet another incident. Stephen Stacey, some residents tell me they do not feel safe anymore. Within the last couple of months, Marshalltown has been in the headlines. Scary. You don't think it would happen in this town, I guess. It's been one high profile crime after another. In mid December, a 25 year old resident was shot and killed. Officers say the man pointed a handgun at police. Last week, a Marshalltown man doused his girlfriend and her mom with gasoline then lit them on fire with a cigarette. And Sunday afternoon, a 19-year-old resident shot and killed a man. I'm not uh, ready to say that we have some sort of trend occurring here, though. Marshalltown Police Chief Mike Tupper says crime data from the last few years show the last few months are unusual. This is not typical for us. It's not normal. Some residents tell us things are different now. I don't know what's going on, but um, you never had this problem here before. And it was a really nice town when I was growing up. It feels like it's uh, getting a little worse in this town than it has been in the past. Austin Halstead says he's considering moving back to Des Moines. Might live there and work here just because of that, because I have kids and don't want them really growing up in this town. Chief Tupper says most of the crimes were not random acts, and residents shouldn't worry. Marshalltown is a safe community. I think we've just been in a, uh, a, an unusual stretch of. Uh, for lack of a better term, some bad luck. Chief Tupper says if residents see or hear something, they should not hesitate to call police. Live in the Ames Live Link, Vanessa Pang, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.